Hello and welcome back. This is The Moat, and this is day two of my attempt at Michael Deering's Hardcore Challenge. And since we're counting from zero, this is actually the third episode. Make sure I'm uh, alone here for a moment. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and primary thing today is to get this area cleared out and get up a fence. So we're going to go ahead and give that a shot. I'm going to try to stay a little bit better focused on task this time if I can. We'll see if it's possible. Oh, before I go too far here, I'm going to go ahead and start that timer. I do love that timer. It helps keep me in track better. All right, that's good. This one's going to be a hard one. I have to get up there. I don't really have anything to jump up on. Hmm. Let's see. Nope. There we go. Alright. So we'll kind of get in here a little bit. Um, Michael made the comment that uh, my hill garden is going to be very prone to trampling. And of course he's 100% right. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot anyway. I'm, well, I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot anyway. I want to... It's really more for aesthetics. And I'm thinking if I add some stairs it won't be so bad. Uh, because we have such a limited time, I do want to try to build something while trying to survive as well. So I thought I'd try to do something that would be a little different for me. I'm I'm a uh, middle of the road builder. I'm by no means a master builder. I really have to get some dirt to make this easier. Um, but uh, yeah, I continue to try and kind of stretch my limbs a little bit with that. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot. Um, Let's see, where's our marker here? Not putting anything down, but let's go ahead and gather the stuff we've got. Go ahead and take this guy out. Um, so I enjoy challenging myself and learning new things. Uh, I also realized I should probably explain a little bit of, of the names. My in-game name is The Moat, and uh, that's what you'd see on multiplayer. My son, who also plays Minecraft. Uh, he's a, an avid mod fan, as I mentioned last time. His uh, username is uh, LilBarrow7, and my wife also plays on occasion, and her game name is um, MamaBarrow7. So that's really where we got the Bear Family 07 uh, name from. Yeah. Still not being very efficient about this, but at least I'm not quite as tired, so hopefully it'll be a little bit more lucid this time. And uh, we'll get as much done as we can. We really only have three hours of, of real time to get something built. And I am by no means a speedy builder. Uh, those of you guys who know me from Mind Squish, and as I wander around losing time, um, can attest to it. Take me, it takes me quite a while to get something built. So I'm going to have to really hustle if I'm going to have anything done in the remaining episodes. Uh, so it will be interesting to, to give that a shot. One of the things I like about this challenge, one of the other things I like about this challenge, besides you know, testing out my hardcore chops, so to speak, is that it also encourages me to learn several other things, and one of which is maybe a little bit better efficiency and time management. Um, it also gives me a chance to... Uh, sorry, checking around, make sure nobody's there. Um, you know, it's maybe some a chance to work on my efficiency and organization skills. There, um, I'm not particularly organized. I tend to run back and forth as I think about things, easily distracted. And, uh, the squirrel comment from the first is uh, more accurate than I'd like for me, but it is what it is. Um, I'm really enjoying the challenge, as I said before, and looking forward to seeing what I can accomplish. Um, oh shoot! <laughs> really need that. Uh, dirt right now. That's all right. We'll get it. Should have left that block there. All right. Well, just see. I just learned something. Or hopefully, we'll remember to do this. I usually do this anyway. But leave that bottom chunk so I don't have to worry about putting more and more below me if need be. And I think these are right on the line. So let's go ahead and take them out. Um, so this is a good challenge for me. I'm, I'm learning a lot of things about how I play and uh, ways to make that... Uh, better for get certain types of play. I tend to not be the end game kind of guy. You know, like on B Squish, I, I play on an FTB server which is uh, called B Squish. 
Uh, Jade has a great series on it, so if you'd like to learn more about it, please take a look at her channel. Or her channel, excuse me. So that one's outside the, the spot. What are they? Oh, pigs. Um, Got to do some mining here pretty soon, too. Uh, so if you'd like to learn more about Bee Squish, please check out her channel. She's uh, she's doing a series on it. Has done a series of the, the, the mod packs we've had before. And, um, you know, the, the mod packs are fantastic. Did I Have I cleared everything, really? Um, and they're a whole lot of fun. You get to do a ton of new things. This one has rotary craft and all kinds of good stuff on it. One of the things I forget in hardcore is I need to stop jumping around so much. Uh, looks like I do have it okay. Now let me go ahead and collect up this stuff. Uh, I'm an inveterate tree planner. Uh, always have been. Oh, gotta get that while I'm at it too. And I'm gonna run over and grab the. Oof, a little bit of lag there. Not quite sure. I changed one of my settings recently, or a few of my settings recently. And now I'm getting uh, occasional lag jumps like that. So I'm gonna have to yeah, experiment on that. Anyway, back to finishing the story on B Squish. Yeah, I'm not easily distracted. Uh, is. Uh, you know, I love playing with the rotary craft. I've never done any of that stuff. Uh, Reka has done a beautiful job with that um, that mod pack, I have to say. Um, and it even includes some math, so if I can, uh, when my son Little Bear plays with me, I can hopefully uh, use it as some examples of, of uh, how math comes into play in our lives. Uh, I'm heading out to get the sugar cane, which I think is just right over here, so we'll take a look. Um, let's go up oh, some coal. Yes. All right, let's grab that real quick. Did I bring a pick? Yes, of course. Good. Uh, but I'm, you know, everybody else is qu you know, quite far down the road. They've got all kinds of machines and whatnot running. Uh, I hear somebody. Uh, and I'm still just sort of putting together my first automations. I've been enjoying exploring the map and gathering stuff. And I have quite a few things in the chests, but uh, <laughs> half the time when I go to create a spell for Ars Magica or even start some of the stuff with Rotary Craft, I don't have whatever block it is that I need. Um, so I'm not particularly efficient at playing Minecraft, but I have a lot of fun, and for me that's the key point to it. I'm going to fall and break an ankle here. I'm okay. Uh, I feel like I'm now not where I thought. Oh, there's the water. Okay. Uh, he's up soon. Oh, I gotta be a little careful here. I knew there was some out here someplace when I first came over. At least I thought there was. Um, so I enjoy kind of wandering around. I enjoy you know the scenery. This is this is beautiful. I love wandering around in the rain. I live in Southern California, so uh, this is considered harsh weather for us, and I uh, I miss it. I grew up in in Idaho, and now I'm a f just wasting time because I know there. Is it over there? I don't have Optifine installed, so I'm, I can't zoom in. There it is. Okay, good. Oof. Um, so I grew up in Idaho, so I, I did get Four Seasons when I was a kid. Uh, and I certainly miss that. And so Minecraft gives me another virtual experience that I miss. And I don't really have to shovel the snow if I don't want to. So we're grabbing this, ideally... Uh, Oh gosh, it's getting dark. Well, <laughs> this was not the brightest idea I've had. Um, so we'll see if I make it back. Oh, maybe I'll get that string I wanted for fishing. Uh, the, the evening will probably be spent mining. If I survive and get back there. Not at all. Ooh, clay. Well, not for now. Alright, let's head back quick as we can. Uh... It's set up. It's not quite right. There we go. Um, so I tend to be more relaxed about my my playstyle, about getting things done. But when you only have nine Minecraft days to do it, well, you got to be a little more careful than that. I'll go ahead and see if I can. Yeah. Nope. I'm going to fill it up. All right. Um, so I need to be a little bit more careful about that. I'm uh, trying to get something done. I want to build four towers, and I want to use the graphite and the diorite and all the other great new... Uh, there's more coal, that's nice. 
but I'm in danger out here. I think I'm going to go ahead and pass it by. I'll probably find someone down underneath when I mine. Um, well, and there's... There they come. Well, do I want to... Yeah, I don't really want to go after that guy. Let's see. You going to come and get me? Yes, you are. Okay, well, maybe we can play this. Oh. Well, I'm alive. Oh, hello, and of course... I think that's... <laughs> Bless you. Uh, my wife is not feeling 100%, so I hope her cold will go away quickly. I think I, this is the resident creeper. They seem to have a family that lives around here. Well, so far, so good. I survived my first foray out at night. Where are you? There you are. Oh, I didn't realize you got me on side. Oof. And there's the zombie. We're going to have a one of everything. Let me know. Make sure I make sure I'm not walking around something else. There we go. And your cousin. Just had to bring everybody, didn't you? Oh, hello. I think I heard somebody over there. No, okay. So and sword. This is when I regret not making a an iron one. Anybody else? My chicken's okay, and he's laying more eggs. Great. Now I just need to find that cow. Oof. I really got to figure out what setting I messed with. It's causing my problem there. Hello. Grow, you guys. Oh, fall down into my own pit. That wouldn't be good. I'm also used to playing Pocket Edition, and in Pocket Edition you can get a lot closer to creepers without them blowing up on you. Hello. There we go. Alright. Well, kind of wasted time there, but uh, since I don't think any of them gave me anything. No carrots. Bummer. Oh well. Maybe you'll give me one. Nope. Still no luck. Oh well. Alright. Oh, I got some more seeds. Yes, there we go. Where are you? I hear you. Oh. Don't want to make a target for that guy. Two more seeds. That's good. Sorry, guys. Kind of running around a little bit on this, but... Trying to pay attention for those guys. That's good. still good, right? Okay, yeah, I thought so. I'm 90% certain on that. Oh, thank you, don't. Alright. Anybody else? Let's go ahead and take this guy out. Okay. Well, while I'm out here this evening, I might as well finish off this outer patch if I can get it. Uh, oh, I got a bow, though. That's nice. Not much use is left. Did I get any arrows? Yeah, I got two arrows. So, worst comes to worst, I've got that. Get that ready if I need it. Oh, gosh. Nah, I'm about to starve to death. Hmm, all that fighting was not good for me. That's the other thing about hardcore, I certainly don't know yet. And I don't do very well. It's forgetting that fighting is very food intensive. And that mining, still no carrot, is going to be just as bad. So I took a look at my design for this. It's going to be the five blocks out at the edge here, plus a couple. So there'll be a, a you know, if I can actually get enough to fill all that, I'll be in good stead. Um, so it would have 20, uh, I think 27 spots around the edge. Not fully efficient, but uh, a start. I'm going to have to get some more. Yeah, I'm going to have to go find some mushrooms in the morning, I think. Oh, I'll get in there for some of these. That's good. For some of my goods. Alright, well, let's come down here. 
Anybody down there? Good. Nothing so far. Let's see if we've got anything coming down here. Alright, I'm still here. This is okay. And my shovel. Uh, okay. zigzag back down here. Nope, rain stopped. I do love the atmospherics in Minecraft. Uh, make sure we're still... I'm now a little... I can get those guys collected up. I'm a, oh, right. No torches. Better go do something about that. There are my steps, thank goodness. I can't remember if I close this up whether they can get up here or not. There is that one little path through there. Uh, let's just go ahead and make sure. Oh, wait. That's on 16 again, isn't it? Hi, Chihuahua. I was thinking 16 was okay. I'd forgotten that in the discussion it's not, so. Well, you'd think I wouldn't have missed that one up twice, but oh well. Alright, so now we're at 15, right? Yes, I'm at 15, so this is. Except I'm going to need to get up through there. There we go. I hear you. Are you coming in from outside? Or are you coming in from down the, within our little crater here? That's good. Might as well make this a little easier to walk on. Can I get you right there? No. There we go. And it's daylight. Almost. I hear you up there. Uh, well, and he was going to be friendly, but not a string to be found off of him. I'm having no luck, no luck drops wise. Hello, you stay over there. I'll be happy with you. Yeah, lots of eggs. Now I'm craving scrambled eggs. It's morning of day three. There it is. All right, I went a little long in the last one, so I'm going to cut this one. You know, at the time, you can see the day indicator there. I'll cut this one now and uh, put it out. I got the clearing done, so that was good, but I have no fence still. Yep, that'll be for the next episode. All right, uh, let's see. Go ahead and get out of that so I don't just stand here yammering. And we'll be back for next episode. I uh, appreciate the comments, guys. I'm certainly learning a lot through this process, and I'm looking forward to uh, learning a lot more as I go forward. Thanks, and I'll catch you on the flip side.